Um, so if you go if you go to very high temperatures or high energies, then the protons and neutrons fall to bits. Then you end up with a soup of quarks and gluons, and that's a, a quark gluon plasma. And it's insanely dense, right? Yeah, well, very high energy. So um, so you get that. So we've been exploring that by because we don't we don't only collide protons together. We can collide uh, lead nuclei together or silver nuclei together at the LHC, and that's when you make these kind of soups of nuclear matter, if you like, very hot nuclear matter to explore that physics, to that that nuclear physics. Wow! And I was reading something about the the weight of of that stuff, that like uh, a sugar cube. Like what? What is the what is the actual weight? Well, it depends how dense it is. So I don't. The I mean the the what the thing I remember is the sugar cube of a neutron star material, which is I don't know how many hundred million tons. I can't. Remember. You know that it depends. But so I don't know with the quark gluon plasma. I don't know what number you're. There was a, something. There was one of the things after the discovery they were talking about the massive weight of quark gluon plasma and. In- 